you're in the lounge. My name is Miss Tara Lounge. And guess where I'm at? Ha, huh, you're not here. I'm in Florida, Miami. And guess where I'm staying at one of my friends' house? Fly, it's hot. If I, we're gonna do a little tour. This is for the fashion section for Lounge Magazine. Oh, right. <laughs> and he got the piece of stick. And there go the snake right in the corner right there. I'm afraid of them too. I'm not going over there. No way. <laughs> Amazing. The glass of wine winded down for the afternoon. Doing business, taking care of business, and while I'm away from business. Well, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Sean, what you have to say to the people? Huh? What you have to say? All right, so Harjan has finally finished the work for the day. We've been hanging out with him. That's my cousin. She just got in from uh, Connecticut. So now we're about to hit the road. So we're actually in the living room now. And like I said, we're going to talk to Harjan Williams about Jaws.net and his just wonderful design. He just has a really great eye for luxury. And we're going to talk about how half this stuff came about and show you all the great things that he has. So he did everything himself, we did handmade, so if you need any of these things done, special craft, anything you need, he can do it for you. So we're going to take a tour of the house and show you all the great things. So it separates his dining, this separates his dining from his entertainment living area, so. So this is what he did with his hair, it's like everything was actually designed and made for him. He has like a TV. On the specially made backboard, the lights was he designed that himself. The whole, the whole ambiance, the combination is just really perfect. He did like a green color that offsets the white, so it just gives the place like an open feel. So it just gives a bigger feel to everything. Um, keep the nice smell going. It keeps put fresh flowers in all his things. Initially, I thought they were fake, but they're all real flowers that he he, he does every couple of days, making sure that the place. You know, looks nice. What do you think? I think it looks nice. You can actually go up to the pool before we go up to the to the main attraction, which is his bedroom. But he's pinned down his special place. You know? So let's go to the pool. Can we get out here? Wait, where am I going? Okay, yeah. So we hang out during the daytime, get our tan on, have a few wine, drinks, whatever the case is. Secret. But once again, if you ever want to like get him to do work for you, go to Jaws, which is J A W Z dot net. He does everything from like furniture to ocean. He goes beyond the ocean. We design luxury. That's his slogan, and he means every word of it. So let's show piece for him. Once again, custom design for him just to come through the hallway. I think it's a great piece just to put things on, to show off. He has a very super high ceiling. Like you feel like when you're climbing up, you're going all the way up somewhere. It's like totally high. So that's cool. This is his living area. Very nice for just having a great meal. You know, calming, enjoying. Just, if you're a bachelor or a bachelor, or you can have a, a husband and one child. This is a perfect setup for you. It's like everything is coordinated. Very earth tone. Five bedrooms and four bathrooms, so you must imagine what we're dealing with here. Let's go upstairs. See, once again, he has fresh flowers all over. Custom piece. I'm gonna take you to the smaller rooms. The room I'm staying in is messy, so don't even try to say anything. All right, this is guest room number one. Guest from number one. Once again, everything he did himself, bed, everything, very custom. So if you come to have a good time, just go to one of the rooms. Just look at what he did. That's cool. So, you know, this is actually very useful. Room one. Let's look at the detail of his work. Very, very nice. Very nice. Room two. Very same style and everything, but the concept and the basin and stuff. 
totally different. We want, we won't show you room three. This is where we hang out at. We'll just give you a glance. We hang out in here. We're not gonna show you room three. This is the room I'm staying in, but it's kind of messy. You can tell I'm living in here for the time being. Fly wall. I think it's a, I think this is fabulous because when you put a flat screen on here, it's gonna be great. I just love it. The bed was nice and soft and comfortable. It works well for me. Makes me want to go to sleep. Tell me, which woman wouldn't love this? Come on, girls! Like this man. This man know how to get the drawers dropping, right? You walk in here. You know that's the truth. And that's him in the background talking. But just look at this, he had everything, all the right colors, or tone, he, he just got it going on in here. You know, this is the major showpiece. We're gonna, we, we're gonna show you what Hydron is about. Actually, he's in the bathroom. Let's see what he's doing. Let's see if he's naked. <laughs> <laughs> so this is bathroom right here. I love taking the love, a shower. The love making shower. The love making shower. I call this. Don't, don't get all this though. Don't get all that. <laughs> I, I call this the love making shower. Because when I'm in here, I spend forever. This shower is amazing. You know, so when you guys come to my house and you see that it's been spiffed up and I have all this great thing, it's all him. You know, this is bathroom number three. All right, that's that's how John Williams there for Jaws.net. He's trying to do a quick. I don't know what he's doing over there, but he does the work. Look at this, the stone ideas. Super great size closet, but we're not going to show you his no, closet. Closet, closet, great. All right. This part I think is nice, the detail is real good. Um, but what we'll do, we'll talk to Hajan later. We'll let him actually explain, especially downstairs, his main showpiece, and just certain aspects of his house, the parts that he loved the most and why. So we'll go back downstairs and we'll meet him in the living room. We're gonna talk about why he likes this room the most and downstairs and how long it took him to do everything and how you can get in contact with him if you wanted to get your, get your house very customized with how he has it. You know, let's go downstairs, and we're gonna we're gonna eat some breadfruit first, or some fish. I love this bathroom. It's just half a bathroom and the fourth one in the house. Um, I think the stone idea is amazing. So I know personally, this is something I'm gonna take. It seems like a very good way to like have an attractive bathroom, and it's not as gonna be as costly. But I think it's I don't know. Stone just do something for me in water. It kind of relaxes me. Got this amazing kitchen. We got Richard in the kitchen cooking the bread for the truck. Oh, yeah. Okay. Breakfast is going to fall into the bread. The fish is coming right up. He's cooking the bread for the fish. I think this kitchen is great. I want to redo my kitchen myself. And coming down here, I got to tell me exactly what I need to do in order to get the work that I want. So the next time we can have a major part of my house is a safe transition. I just think everything in here is great because everything is tough. So I just think that's something amazing. Once again, you go to Jaws.net if you're wanting him to do something custom. So he just doesn't do ocean stuff. He does luxury design. So let's get it together, people. If you want something that's a luxury, very cost effective, make your house look unique and beautiful, you need to go to Jaws.net and communicate with Harjan Williams and he'll help you out to get you exactly what it is that you need. So we're gonna go into the living room, we're gonna talk with him, we're gonna talk about how he loves the living room and his bath and his major drop in the panties room. So you said your favorite part of the house is your living in your in your bedroom, why is that? I don't know, I guess everything is customized for my liking. You don't see what I got in here in the stores. Okay. I think there's some great designs. So how do you think of it? Do you just sketch it out first or what is the process? I sit in this space and I look at it and I conjure up things or I look through magazines and come up with, I see an idea, mm -hmm. then I break that idea down and then I come up with something else totally different. I noticed that you do a lot of ocean, like basically you do a lot of shark tanks and all these extravagant displays from seeing your store earlier. So explain to lounge viewers why is it that you seem to you have this knack for just like, I'm gonna say wall units and wall ornaments and art and everything. And how do you kind of integrate the two? You know, like when you go to somebody else and you say, 
you don't want a fish tank here. You just don't put a fish tank and you put something like a design in it. Something and how do I come up with it? I don't know. You gotta ask God. I just look at the space right. and the idea just come into my head. I'm like, how do I do it? Like I was doing a restaurant mm -hmm. in New York. Mm -hmm. And my brother, he looked at me and he goes, yo, how do you come up with these ideas? I had the idea in my head, mm -hmm. drew it on paper, mm -hmm. and then two months later, he came from New York, mm -hmm. and he came down, and he seen the structure erect. And he goes, yo, that was the same thing you drew. You came up with the idea on a dime, and I drew it, mm -hmm. on a sketch it on a piece of paper, and he came down, and two months later, seen it erect. And he bumped out, and he was like, yo. Yeah, because I think this is totally amazing what you have done with the house. I think it's really, really great. Like once again, I said, go to jawz.net if you're looking to have your interior really customized, really just have a feel for who you are. Just if he brings your personality out and he works with you, he works within your budget. So just make sure you visit. Yeah, that's that's what, that's what the craziest thing is about. What I I don't have much money, but I come up with great design basically with what I have mm -hmm. and the budget that I have. You know, but if I had boo-boo dollars and it was endless on the design, it would be crazy. But nobody would walk in here and think that you didn't spend millions based on how everything is really laid out, which is a great thing. You, you know, I you try great, to keep it simple. You keep it simple, but it looks yeah. very luxury. So the next question I have is, you know, I went to your bedroom and I think it's fantastic. It's like a draws drop in bedroom. Like, why is that about? It's almost like I want to go there to show your bed. How did you even think of that? And my girl from my ex-girlfriend, we actually came up with the idea to the curtains out the ceiling mm -hmm. and uh, and everything else. I just figured out I, I named it, but the curtains is her idea and all that coming out the ceiling. Yeah, I think it's fantastic actually, because I know I know how I for quite a while. When I first met him, his first room had like silk, silk red. Yeah, silk on the ceiling. Like, I was just, again being creative. I had these ugly pipes on my ceiling. <laughs> I was like, how can I cover it up? I couldn't put a drop ceiling because it would have made the ceiling too low. So I was like, yo, why don't I just put some sheets up there? And I was, went, found some nice material, I pinned it up on the roof. It looked crazy. It looked wonderful because you know what? We're like, why is this the red room? We thought it was the red room. We just had it. I always had women on it. Though. Always put women in. It was like, yeah. if you saw this room, you'd be like, oh my God, it was actually. It was always been a pimp. Always been a pimp. Always been. Thank you.